Good morning, Facebook family. Um, this is Mary Bostrom from Ken Bostrom Ministries, welcoming you a happy Friday. And we're coming into Labor Day weekend, so I hope you have a great and safe Labor Day weekend. Uh, I want to tell you what's going to be happening starting Sunday. You know, I don't record on, on Sunday or uh, Saturday or Sunday. That just the five days of the week is what the Lord showed me. And uh, so Sunday, uh, it's going to be very unusual because, uh, you know, God's calendar, it's not the Hebrew calendar, it's God's calendar. Uh, but here, if you can see uh, September, and then underneath you can see uh, the Hebrew, or the on, on the Hebrew calendar, what day it is. Well, in September, for the first time that I can ever remember, the month of a lull, the month of a lull, is um, this? It, it starts on September first, and so September first is is a lull first. Uh, September seventeenth, when the Israeli election is, is September seventeenth is a lull seventeenth, and so forth all month. And so there's a great alignment, and we're coming into the Feast of Trumpets on September 29th. and I believe that God that this is an incredible aligning time, and God wants us to be aligned with Him like never before. Uh, let me tell you some things that have happened in this month. <clears throat> uh, this is a month um, from uh, Elul 1st to Yom Kippur. It's the 40 days of Teshuvah. Now, Teshuvah means returning to the Lord. It means returning. And so this is, um, this is the time three things happen in the Bible. First of all, it's, it's when Moses went up the mountain the second 40 days to, to seek repentance for the nation of Israel for the sin of the golden calves. Uh, and he came down, his face was shining, and he says, you are forgiven. The entire, he, he repented for the entire nation of Israel. And so that was a, it, it starts off to be a time of repenting. You know, in the spring feast, we have Passover, unleavened bread, Pentecost, and those are personal salvation. But when we come to the fall feast, that's national salvation. In fact, when you come to the Feast of Tabernacles, they give 70 uh, offerings uh, a day for the, when, when they had the temple, they gave 70 offerings a day for the 70 nations that are listed in, in Genesis chapter 10. Now, the second thing that, okay, let's go back to Moses. Okay, what, what are two things? That, that we find from that story. Number one, he had been with God and, and his face was shining. He had been in the presence of God and carried the presence of God down with him. Uh, can, we, can we have this be a time, these 40 days, when, uh, when, we, uh, when we come into the presence of God and, and we are going to shine and people are going to see it? And are we gonna stand in forgiveness for and repentance for uh, the lukewarm church and for our nation. How about that? The next thing that happened, Jonah went into the nation of uh, uh, Nineveh, the city of Nineveh, and he said, you have 40 days to repent. And guess what? Before that, they had a solar eclipse the year before that. Before that, they had a plague. And so when he comes in and says, the Almighty God says that, that in 40 days, if you don't repent, you're going to all die. Guess what? From the king on down to every animal, they all repented. And and so the, the city of Nineveh was saved, but it wasn't saved forever because 200 years later, you read in the book of Nahum that they had gone back to their old ways. But for a season, for a couple of generations, uh, they were saved and they were serving God, the run true God. Now, the third thing that happened in the Bible in these 40 days of Teshuvah, Jesus was baptized uh, either on the day before a little one or on a little one, but he was baptized and then he he was led of the spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil for forty days and forty nights. Those are these actual sick forty days of Teshuvah. When he when he was done with those forty days, the angels came and ministered to him, and uh, and then he went into the synagogue and he he opened a book. And he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me. So from these things, and, and uh, Perry Stone has got an excellent book called The 40 Days of Teshuvah. And uh, maybe be the first time you've ever heard it, but you know, it's been going on since Moses. 
it's been going on since Moses. We're just returning to the Lord, preparing ourselves for the high holy days. The Feast of Trumpets begins on on uh, September 29th. So every uh, so I'm going to be uh, on my blog site. I'm going to be having a devotional every day. My blog site is M Bostrom B O S T R O M dot com, and I'm going to have a devotion every day start for 40 days starting on Sunday. And so um, I hope you could be with me. Uh, I'm going to be talking to you about some of the things that we can do to return back to the Lord, come back to our first love. God bless you. Bye-bye.